I love it, but I hate it. Welcome back. Today we're playing a game called Adventures with Anxiety, where we are playing as anxiety. I'm not entirely sure on the premise, but if you want to play the game for yourself, the link will be in the description. Let's get going. Oh, it's cute! Jeez. Welcome. This is less of a game, more of an interactive story. Hope you like reading, <laughs> sucka. Click our space bar. So before we start, how would you like to read? Well, here we are. Great, no, you can always change these with the gear icon. Also, game auto saves at each chapter. Now, let's begin our story. This is a human. And this is the human's anxiety. You are the anxiety. Oh God, my wolf's back, fantastic. Your job is to protect your human from danger. Real danger though, or perceived danger. In fact, that sandwich is putting them in danger right now. Quick, warn them. Human, listen, we're in danger. The danger is, let your anxiety come out to play. Pick what's the most similar to what your fear tells you. I love this so far. This is exactly like how our anxiety works for us because our anxiety is part of this fight, flight, or freeze system. But in our modern world, we don't really have the same dangers that we used to have. And so our anxiety is uh, when it tells us about these fears that aren't real, like they are perceived fears, but our body reacts as though they are real. So I love how the game is talking about it in this way. You're eating alone for lunch again? We're not being productive while eating? That white bread's bad for us. I feel like one of the most common things that I hear from people that I work with is about, like, we're not being productive. We have to do more. We have to be perfect. We're not being good enough. Um, so I mean, that's the one that I'm going to go with. We're not being productive while we're eating. Whip out your laptop and do some work right now. I also love how they drew the anxiety. It just feels anxious. I know it's the point, but... Um, I'd rather not get crumbs in my keyboard. We're not contributing to the body of society when we're a social parasite. The social body will go to the social doctor for medication to kill their social parasites. Then we'll... Oh my god. Die! Oh my god, I love it! In the sense that it's accurate. You use fear of being a bad person. Oh no. It's super effective. <laughs> I love how they've done this. It's terrible and it's accurate. Oh, I love it, but I hate it. See human, I'm your loyal guard wolf. Oh good God, that's sad as my face. Just your gut. Your feelings are always valid. Yes, but <laughs> like these feelings that we have are valid, but our thoughts are not always facts. Get your human's energy bar to zero. Oh my god! To protect their physical, social, moral needs, you can use fear of being harmed, fear of being unloved, and fear of being a bad person. Pro tip, play the choices that personally hit your deepest, darkest fears. Oh my god, I just noticed the person's face. I've been focusing on the wolf so much because they're like bright, they're red, they are they have so many emotions. The human's face is just like crumbling. You know that maybe it's time to check your phone. Protect your human. From the world, from other people, from themselves. Good luck. Round one, fight! Oh my 
god, this music. Huh, Facebook feed says there's a party happening this weekend. Doesn't that weirdo throw a party every weekend? What inner void are they trying to fill? They must be deeply messed up inside. Also, I got an invite. Well then. Say yes or we'll die from loneliness. Oh, I'm glad there's not a timer. That was my anxiety. <laughs> Say no, it's all poisonous drugs. Ignore it. We'll just make parties sad. Oh no. Loneliness, drugs, or sadness. Say yes or we'll die. Um, let's go with that one. This one feels very similar to the last one. Say yes or we'll die from loneliness. Then no one will show up at our funeral. They'll dump our ashes into the ocean. We get eaten by a whale. And we become whale poop. Unloved. Yeah, we should go to that party. Just bring the laptop so we can do work and not be a social parasite. Oh, we gotta combine all of these things. They just gotta pile up. God, if it'll make you shut up, fine. I'll say yes. Whale poop, pu <laughs> whale poop, human, whale poop. Anyway, Facebook's too much. I need something calmer, less anxiety producing. Yes. What's new on Twitter? No. Don't go from Facebook to Twitter if you're looking for less anxiety. Oh no, look at that horrible news story. Oh no, is that tweet secretly about us? Oh, hey, a gif of a cat drinking milk. I feel like anxiety would totally be like, hey, is that tweet secretly about us? And then go into like all of the replies too. Oh no, is that tweet secretly about us? It's a subtweet, a sneaky, sneaky subtweet. It's probably not. But what if they're all talking behind our back? They're not in front of our back. I did. But what if? That is exactly how anxiety talks to us. Like the thoughts that come with anxiety are all like, what if? What if this negative thing happens? What if this other negative thing happens? I love how they're writing this. Um, combined with like the style of it all. What if? Unloved! I'm not purposely choosing the unloved ones. Okay, I'm gonna try Snapchat. Oh no. Snapchat's messages go away. There's so much room for like doubt and uncertainty and those what if thoughts to grow with Snapchat. Because like, well, what if there was a message that I didn't see and then it went away? Huh, photos from yesterday night. So that's what those weekday weekly parties are like. Oof, looks way too crowded for my anxiety. Maybe I shouldn't have said yes to the invite. And now there's room for these thoughts of like, well, what'll they think of me if I back out now? Or what if they judge me? Ch change your answer like a jerk. Change your answer. It's too crowded. Yeah, they were totally sw subtweeting us. I wonder how many different like choice. I wonder how much, how complicated they wrote all of this. Like how interconnected all of these things are. And therefore like how many things they had to write out for this game. Um... I had even just said, like, change your answer. Like, oh, we can't back out now. Like, what do they think of us? So this feels like the most logical one for me. Change your answer like a jerk. They were counting on us to come, and, and now we're betraying our trust. Do you want to die alone? Whale poop. I feel like that needs a clap. Whale poop. Unloved. Oh. Shut up. Shut up. I'll keep it as a yes. Whatever. New Tinder notification. Oh no. What? That hookup app? It's not a hookup app. It's just a way to meet new people. It's a hookup app. Oh, I got a match. They look cute. Please don't ruin this for me. <laughs> danger, danger, danger. Danger, Will Robinson. We're being used by other people. We're just using other people, or your match is a serial killer. Um, <laughs> your match is a serial killer. I mean, like, uh, I feel like women are often taught, like, 
all the ways that horrible things can happen, especially when you're meeting a stranger. Plus, um, Netflix has had a lot of documentaries about serial killers. Your match is a serial killer. They'll bludgeon you with a Pomodoro timer and say you should have been more productive, you parasite! <laughs> oh my gosh! Harm. Oh. I'm so sick of this game. We're a social parasite. They're talking behind our back. They're a serial killer. I just want to live my life. I just want to be free from all this. Pain. Hey, human. You'll be okay. As your loyal guard wolf, I'll always keep an eye out for danger and do my best to keep you safe. I promise. Last tab, Instagram, what you got? Oh no, not Instagram. It's more party pictures. How about we put the social media apps away and like do a meditation app? Everyone looks so happy, free from worry, free from anxiety. God, why can't I be like them? Why can't I just be normal? Speaking of parties, about this weekend's invite, here's my final decision. Anxiety is actually like the most common mental health concern out there, like more common than people who are struggling with depression or other things like that. So anxiety is so common, but because we don't talk about it, it's really hard to know that. Speaking of parties, Here's my final decision. We should go or we should not go. Oh, we don't have enough information. Like, if this person likes the people who are there, they should go and, like, have a good time and, like, have, like, go interact with their support system. If they don't like the people and they're just feeling like they are obligated to go, then they shouldn't go. We should go. Fuck. You. What? I'm going to say yes to that party. Not because you want me to, but because I want to. There. You're not in control of me. Also true. Now excuse me while I eat this delicious sandwich in goddamn peace. Processing. <laughs> oh. oh, we're gonna die. Everyone hates us. We're horrible people. I mean, all of these can be things that our anxiety tells us. Um, we're horrible people. Oh, we're horrible people. <laughs> the person looks so, like, horrified. The anxiety's like, yeah, I got them. Excuse me, I, I, as a good guard wolf, I protected my human. Congratulations, you've successfully protected your human's physical, social, and moral needs. Why, look how grateful they are. This feels like a late night infomercial. Now that their energy is zero, you can directly control their actions. Oof. Pick your ending move. Finish them. Fight. Punish your stressful phone. Flight. Curl up in a ball and cry. Um, well, the phone has a lot of apps on it that were not helping us. So, yeah, let's punish the stressful phone. Your phone is giving you a panic attack. Zuckerberg and co. are hijacking your mental health for venture, venture capitalist money. Punish your phone. Destroy it. Kill it. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! Oof. And then there's like that instant regret when you realize that like, you killed your phone. You win! Fears this round! Oh my gosh. I love this game. I 
I feel like this is how our anxiety presents. You know, it does, it is sneaky and it says like, hey, what if this happens? What if this other thing happens? And because we don't talk about it, we don't talk about like mental health or anxiety, we don't realize that this is what's happening. And I like how this game took this concept and put it in a very um, kind of cute way to make it feel easier to talk about mental health. So yeah, they never replied back. Hi. Even though you both matched each other on Tinder? <laughs> nice party. Yeah, I don't know. What did they think I was a serial killer or something? So paranoid. Are these like the consequences of all of our choices playing out? Ugh, I know, right? Round two, fight! Oh no, they all hate us. Were you ogling the redhead? Hey, let's talk about the meaning of life. I think the most like logical thing after hearing about that would be like, oh no, they all hate us. <laughs> We're bringing down the mood of this party by being such a sad lump. We're killing the good vibes. We're committing first degree vibe murder. <laughs> Human, we have to leave now before. Um, before whale poop. <laughs> Can you hear me, human? <gasps> I must warn you about more of the same danger, a different social danger. You're ignoring danger. That's dangerous. Oh, this totally thing that can happen when we start to like feel better from our anxiety like when we start to work on it suddenly we become anxious about our anxiety it's almost like what if the anxiety comes back it's just a different form of the anxiety you're exor you're ignoring danger that's dangerous you think you're safe just because you took the batteries out of the carbon monoxide detector you won't even smell the poison you'll just get sleepy and then you'll d die <laughs> i love the animation Oh, thank goodness, human. I think you can hear me again. Because <sighs> their expression changed. I shall warn you about more of the same danger. A different social danger. Did you check that punch before drinking? Like, this is the, the, like, this is just, like, a very specific thing. Versus this, these are so vague, which are, like, is how anxiety works. But let's go with this one. Did you check that punch before drinking? I'm not being irrational. People do drug punch bowls. That is an actual thing that actually happens. Human, does your head hurt? Are your limbs limp? I think we're dying. I feel like anxiety would also be like, we should Google this. Oh, we're dying. Oh yeah, but you broke your phone. Oh, we're dying, we're dying, we're dying. Fuck, 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 fuck. fuck. Yay, human, I'm so happy you can hear me again. Why are you ignoring me? Holy hell, you absolute moron. You know that Native American story? There are two wolves inside you. One is hope, one is despair. Which wolf wins? The one you feed. I was trying to starve you, you sadistic asshole. Screw it, I'll do positive affirmations instead. Yeah. I am loved, I am good, I am smart, I am beautiful, I am special. <laughs> Golly, that's narcissistic. That is something our anxiety would probably tell us. You know, affirmations are disproven. Oh my god, don't credit random stories to indigenous folk. Let's go with saying with the word, we're narcissistic. You need to humbly see your own flaws in order to grow as a person. Oh my god, that is exactly what our anxiety says. It's like, we can't tell ourselves good things, otherwise we'll never improve. It's, you can't have a balance of saying good things to yourself and bad things to yourself. Oh no, we only need to focus on the bad things. You can't spray air freshener over a moldy room. Covering up your flaws makes you worse in the long run. Thankfully, I, as your loyal guard wolf, can alert you to your flaws. And right now, it's everything. Everything is wrong. <laughs> Ass, damn it. You know what? You're irrational. Everyone knows emotions are irrational, especially fear. You're a useless evolutionary leftover. 
kind of like what I was saying earlier. Like my appendix or wisdom teeth. Hell, this whole wolf metaphor is stupid. You're just a bunch of neurochemicals in my brain. Why should I listen to a worthless, irrational, non-existent piece of shit like you? Are you doing the same thing to the wolf that the wolf is doing to you? Jeez, human, that's really hurtful. I'm a feeling. Feelings are valid. Human, we're both just chemicals. Uh, I'm a feeling. Feelings are valid. Hang on. They say that feelings are valid, that you should always accept your emotions. But they also say emotions are irrational, that emotions are not to be trusted. Oh my gosh, they have been lying to us this whole time. They feed us contradictions to make us dependent on the self-help industrial complex. I hate this. God, it hurts so much. I hate this. I can't appease you. I can't ignore you. I can't fight you. No matter what I do, I can't seem to get rid of you. Well, maybe you're not supposed to get rid of me. How do you think I feel, human? I'm trying my best to be your guard dog, but you keep seeing me as some big bad wolf. So I try harder to alert you to danger. More danger. Different danger. But no matter how hard I try to protect you, you still think I'm your enemy. What am I doing wrong? I know I suck at my job, but I'm trying, human. No, I'm trying. You don't have to heed my warnings or agree with me or even like me. I just... All I want is for you to be patient with me. I just want for you to sit with me for a while instead of turning away and... Who's, who's the red text? Hey! Looks like you're caught in a fight with yourself, kid. Was it that obvious? Was that out loud? You were, uh, mumbling at your hoodie about punch bowls or something? Oh, no. Oh, God, I'm such a mess. Hey, you're not alone, friend. Anxiety's super common. Yes! I like how this person just knows that it's anxiety, too. Although, I imagine at a party, it would be pretty easy to just kind of guess that it's anxiety. Heck, just yesterday, I heard someone on campus had a nervous breakdown and smashed their phone. Listen, I know what it's like to have that animal in your head. We all do. That's why I throw these parties every weekend. To forget our worries, forget that animal. But my anxiety? Don't worry, kid. I used to be like you. But then I found a little trick to get that negative voice to shut up forever. Oh, oh god. My own specialty blend. It's a bit stronger than, well, anything legal, really. Alcohol is not really, like going to address the actual anxiety, though. Bottoms up, biatch. Like, it's not a long-term solution. It feels like it, but it's not. Oh my god, this is a bad coping mechanism. Don't take drinks from strangers. This is a bad coping mechanism. Hmm, what an exquisite palette. A full-bodied flavor of shut your mind up with a subtle aftertaste of never feel anything ever again. This is bad, human. This is really, really bad. This is actually how addiction starts. It can be. I knew the host was deeply messed up. Also, they could have drugged that. This is actually how... Delicious and cheaper than therapy. Human, please stop. Heh <laughs> And what are you gonna do about it, asshole? I'm so sorry, human. I'm gonna have to use my special attack. Oh, that's why they have these symbols. Is this like a Naruto hand sign? Unloved? What's this crap? You're gonna yap more stupid words at me, too. What the hell was that? 
I'm sorry. I needed to show you the consequences. I could see everyone's look of disgust. I could hear all the things they said. I'm sorry, human. Finish them. Fight. Punch the host. Flight. Let's get out of here. Do not punch the host. Let's get out of here. I knew all these party goers were deeply messed up. They all dull their pain with horrible things. And they're tricking you into doing the same thing. They're corrupting you. We need to get out. <laughs> get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. You all right, kid? Okay, sorry, I have to run. Damn it, the animal won today, huh? Oh no, 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 just gotta run a marathon. Gotta go fast. Come to my party next weekend, cutie. I'll make something even stronger for you. Okay, thanks. Gotta run, 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 run. You and me, kid, we'll show that beast who's boss. Human, are you okay? Gosh, that was close. We really could have. Oh. I'm coming back to the party next weekend. The next time we fight, I'm not just going to defeat you. I'm going to fucking kill you. I recommend therapy. <laughs> you, uh, win? <sighs> I assume there's another round. Oh, yeah. Cheers! The game has been so accurate so far about, like, how anxiety can show up for us. I really hope that in the end, the the kind of, like, solution isn't um, alcohol. Ah, that hits the spot. You know, kid? Specifically, the spots hit are my left and right amygdala. You remind me of myself when I was younger, back when I was tormented by the animal in my head. I'm so grateful I can pay it forward and help you kill the beast the way I killed mine. Hey, quick question. Truth or d dare? On a roof? Haha, <laughs> good. Okay, you see that baby blue swimming pool down there? Yeah, six floors down. Jump in. No, you... These are like the times when our anxiety can be helpful to have those little like, what if six floors is a bit too high? The animal started whining, hasn't it? Oh no, it's dangerous, don't do it. I mean, that kind of is. But that's exactly why we need death-defying thrills. Party hard, carpe diem, snort coke off a hooker's ass. YOLO, no. Show the animal we don't give two dicks about its bitching. Jump in. Ah, uh, but sometimes, um, fear is a point. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you fall for that McMindfulness propaganda that claims, that claims feeling bad is good? The assholes who run this world give the rest of us anxiety and depression. Then make TED Talks to tell us to accept being fucked over and embrace that sadistic demon in our heads. Kid, I know that you know that that animal hurts people like us. It tortures people like us. It's not our friend. It's a rabid beast which either needs to be tranquilized with alcohol or have a bullet put in its skull. Jeez. Otherwise, you're going to let it win. No, you're wrong. I'm not going to let it win. Fuck yeah, I believe in you, babe. Kill it. Emoji. No, 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 no. This chapter has two possible endings. One is very, very bad. No, 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 no. Choose wisely. Protect your human. Ah! Good luck! Human, you could actually die here. This is stupid and self-destructive. These sickos aren't really your friends. You could actually die here. You know, I might have 
believed you. If you hadn't tried that a zillion times before, you're the wolf who cried wolf. Unloved. You tried that too. Human, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Big Pharma doesn't prove of my self-medication. Look, asshole, we all have a way of shutting you the fuck up. Some people throw themselves into work. Some people throw themselves into sex, drugs, and refreshing their Facebook feed. Some people throw themselves into other people. I'm gonna throw myself into that swimming pool. You're drunk and it's six floors down. Dang it, this is the thanks I get? Okay, I admit it, I messed up. That's different. There's never been one where it's kind of like been admitting that it's something. Okay, I admit it. I messed up. Yeah. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Oh wow, is that the biggest fucking understatement of the century? Yeah, you rotting pile of blood coated shit. You messed the fuck up. Any other remarks, Captain Obvious? But revenge on me isn't the answer. But this time I'm actually right. I've hurt you. Um, I've heard you continues to take accountability, and that's the only time they've listened to us this round. I was so obsessed with making sure nothing else hurt you that I didn't realize I was creating the hurt. No shit. God damn, it really took you this long to finally figure it out. You could have saved us so much trouble, you big fluffy dumbass. Why didn't you realize this sooner? I'm sorry I wasn't a good protector, I'm sorry I didn't respect you, or I'm sorry. I'm just plain I'm sorry. Yeah, well, this was a dumb idea anyway. I only did this to mess you up, and well, I messed you up. Let's just call this round a tie, okay? Okay. Okay. Oh, come on. After all that animal's done to you, you're just giving up? What's the matter, kid? Are you scared? Yes, I'm scared. And that's okay. It's okay to be scared. Did they just lock the door? <laughs> Rip the phone. Sigh. So what the hell was the moral of this story? What did we even learn? I was being stupid. My friends were using me and we almost freaking died. Yeah, not to mention the liver damage. Yeah, that was the worst case scenario. Yeah, I was right. Ooh, let's, that's probably not the best option. Um, yeah, that was the worst case scenario. And yet, hmm? we survived. Despite everything, we're still here. True. You seem calm, pretty calm considering we just had a near death, a near near death experience. Well, it makes everything else less scary in comparison. It's also got me thinking if me fighting you sucks because it doesn't protect you, but me fighting you also sucks because it just makes you yell louder, then maybe. Maybe we don't have to fight. I'm not a big bad wolf, but I'm not a guard wolf either. I'm a battered shelter dog. We've been through rough stuff, maybe trauma or neglect. That's why I sometimes overreact and go. Yep, yep, yep. But I don't want to be a cowardly dog. I want to protect you. I want to be a good dog. Human, will you help tame this wolf? I, I'll try. 
Okay, healthy relationship with emotions. Relationships need communication. So let's communicate. The next five minutes are going to sound super cheesy, but let's fake it till we make it. Dear inner wolf, how are you feeling? Total fears used. Harmed, unloved, bad person. What fear do you want to talk about first? You can do the others later. I'm scared I'll be I'm scared we'll be harmed. I'm scared we'll be alone. I'm scared we'll be bad people. Um, let's go with alone. Because I think that that's a pretty common fear that we'll end up alone. People won't like us. I'm scared we'll be alone. I want to make sure you fulfill that deep human need to belong. But I worry that if anyone ever knew us, the real us, we'd scare them all away. I don't know, enough of me choosing what to say next. What do you say, human? I agree, let's work on our social life. I think people like us, let's find out. Thank you. I really like this middle one because so much of the time people do like us, we just have a hard time seeing it. Um, the times when people have given us compliments or all of that other kind of stuff, we kind of yeah, but our way out, out of it. We're like, yeah, but here's why that doesn't count. You know, like, when, like they were invited to a party and they didn't see that that was like proof that they have a social life. I think people like us. Let's find out. We could try some experiments. We could ping a friend to hang out, reconnect with an old pal, or even just chat with a barista. I think we may find we're more likable than we suspect. Yes. What if these are small, cheap wins? What if this is a burden to others? But small talk isn't the real us. You notice that a lot of these are what ifs, right? These are still the ways that anxiety can kind of show up. It's just a lot smaller. What if these are small, cheap wins? Like, what if these don't count, basically? Saying hi to the barista isn't exactly gold medal performance in the social butterfly Olympics. It is for us. In the social arena, we're not even featherweight class. We're like qu quark weight. If we have to start with small, cheap wins, so be it. Gotta climb the first step before the thousandth step. Yeah, maybe after saying hi, we can advance to saying, how are you? Not much. Anyway, anything else you want to chat about? I'm scared we'll be harmed. I'm scared we're bad people. I feel like bad people is related to being alone, so let's talk about that. I'm scared we're bad people. I want to defend your moral needs that drive to become a better person. But it just feels like deep down, we're so fundamentally broken. And don't tell me we're not messed up. We're almost, we almost jumped off a roof. Again, back to you, human. What do you think? So we're broken. Let's fix this. So we're broken. Let's accept it. I don't like the word broken because it has like so much weight behind it. But if we are going to use that word, I, I almost like the word accept it because it almost implies that like if that word is there, then it doesn't have to have that kind of weight behind it. So we're broken, let's accept it. I mean, that's what therapists say, right? <laughs> accept all your emotions, even the negative ones. Wait. Accept as in give up, accept as in approve, accept as in take literally. Um, I would say accept as in um, take it as it is. You know, like, not judging. Um, to not give up, except as in approve. Ex I guess approve. I don't know what they mean by take literally. So I guess approve, except as in approve. Like, it's good that we're broken or something? No! All those dang Hollywood screenwriters who romanticize mental illness are full of crud. I don't know of any movies that romanticize it. Having a mental disorder sucks. It robs people of lives. Why should we accept that? I think therapists mean accept our emotions as in be patient with them. Like how struggling in quicksand makes you sink faster and the solution is to patiently lie flat. Oh, I like that analogy. Fighting against you, my fear, almost led me to jump off a roof. Instead, the solution is to do what we're doing now, not to fight, but to be patiently 
but to patiently be with each other. Then they should say that instead of some problematic word like accept. Fair. Yeah, come to think of it, accept kind of sucks. I do not accept accept. <laughs> if you don't like the word accept, then don't use it in that way. So anything else on your heavy heart, I'm scared will be harmed. I want to protect your need for physical safety. But the whole world seems so dangerous, so full of tragedy and evil. More thoughts, human? You're right, so let's protect ourselves. Let's expose ourselves to more danger. Um, I kind of like that answer, that second answer of exposing ourselves to more danger because so often what when when we're working through anxiety in therapy, the way that we do that is through exposure therapy, which basically means like slowly um, with a therapist purposefully putting ourselves in a position where we are feeling anxious. And that kind of teaches ourselves that we can feel anxious and it's not the end of the world and we can feel uncomfortable and it'll be okay and we can handle these situations. Um, that's what that answer makes me think of. So let's expose ourselves to more danger. I'm gonna go with that. What? I mean, let's say a dog is scared of thunder. One trick trainers use is to play a recording of thunder at low volume, then give the dog a treat for staying calm. So they are talking about therapy, like exposure therapy. Over several days, the trainer raises the volume bit by bit until the dog has overcome the fear of thunder. It's called exposure therapy. Since you're a dog, it would work for you too, right? All mammals have the same fight or flight response. What if we desensitize too much? What if we're exposed to real danger? I feel like those are very similar ideas because the idea is if you're desensitized too much, then if real danger happens, we won't know. Like those alarm bells won't go off. What if we're exposed to real danger? For example, we almost jumped off a freaking roof. Nah, you're right. One can go too far. But that's why if we do exposure therapy, we'll start small and make small steps upwards. I also recommend doing exposure therapy with a therapist. Just before we hit actual danger, we stop. Yeah, I draw the line between hearing loud thunder and standing in a storm with a tall pointy hat. Okay, I think we've talked about all of our fears now. Yes, there are only three fears. Yep, exactly three. Convenient. <laughs> this isn't how life works. This isn't some game, you know. Building a healthy relationship with your emotions isn't as simple as clicking buttons on a screen. This is very, like, fourth wall breaking. It's suddenly like, hey you, playing the game. You know that it's not this easy, right? Can we really get along? Can we work together as a team? Well, uh, excuse me? Oh, Do they have an anxiety cat? Do you mind if I sat with you for lunch? Asking your crush if you can sit with them? Do you know how needy we sound? I mean, it's okay if not, I just... Wait, didn't I see you at the party? Yeah, of course, come here. Sorry, I need alone time right now. No, of course, come here. Yeah, of course, come here. Hang on, human, they seem uncomfortable. Well, they have an anxiety cat. Ah, no pressure, of course. Just saying, you can sit here if you want to. They're just acting nice. No one really wants to be close to us. Oh, my cat is so, like, so anxious. Run, 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 run! <gasps> no! Huh, that was weird. I wonder what was going on in their head. Anyway, you were saying? Uh, I forget. Something about teams and work. Oh, the emoji. They say you should make peace with your emotions, as if your emotions are war criminals. But I want us to make more than mere peace. I want us to be allies. I want to be a good guard dog, just like how hunger and thirst are alarms for your physical needs. I want to be alarm the alarm for your psychological needs, your need for safety, belonging, goodness. But I suck at my job, so I need you to train me. I am not always valid, nor always irrational. I'm just trying my best, so please. Help me hold my eyes. Help me help you. 
Though teaching an old dog new tricks will take a while. Maybe years. And sometimes I'll relapse. I'll slip into my old habits. I'll bark at shadows. I'll scare you with words. I might even show you some intrusive images of things. I'm sorry. I'm a battered shelter dog. Battered dogs poop on your bed sometimes. But if you're patient with me, and just stay and sit with me, maybe you can tame this wolf. Oh, good dog or good human. Can't I do both? I guess good dog. Good dog. I love this game so much. Ah, you're still not productive while we're eating! We're society parasites, ah! I love this game. I love how it talks about anxiety and, and how it shows up in our lives. Um, <laughs> um, I also love how they had they had a resolution to it that wasn't just um, like drink your problems away um, or drink to cope in a way that could have consequences for you um, in the longer run. And this information right now, you're not alone. Um, like I had said before, anxiety is the most common mental health concern out there. Um, so I absolutely love this game. Absolutely love it. Um, <laughs> um, so if you want to download this game for yourself, the link will be in the description. And I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on this game. Um, otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video.